<clears throat> G'day there, mates. My name is Mr. McGillicuddy. Excuse me. And welcome back once again to my channel. Today, we will finally be returning to the story of Final Fantasy VII. So, in the last episode, I pretty much was just showing off some stuff you can do after you clear the prison, the desert prison, and get the buggy. So, today, we will be continuing on with some more style stuff. But this has a bit of lore to it, so let's just dive straight into it, shall we? Now, damn that buggy. If you guys have already seen, like, watch my channel, you should probably know that I started doing the Final Fantasy VII remake. With that being said, hold on, it's a bit too loud for me. Alright, as I was saying, with that being said, I again will only be doing that once a week. And I'm gonna try and get through doing day uploads for the original. So that way I can get back to doing actually get into doing day uploads for the remake. So Russian nut. Nice. Okay, so we are gonna be heading to an area that is completely optional. And you will be needing the buggy to get to, I believe. Yeah. So over there is a destroyed town. Whoa. Around town. What's that about? <laughs> now, before we do end it here, I am going to be uh, switching characters. And we're going to be switching to Tifa and Eris. And the reason behind that is because they both have more to apply here, only if you bring them with you. So, yeah. PHS Tifa S. Now re equip them with material again. Oh, before that, let's give Tifa the um, Shimmer Beta. So, I'm gonna cut this bit out here, be back shortly. Alrighty, I'm back. Okay, so we're gonna get out of the buggy here. Now, do a quick save. No, 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 not. <laughs> yeah, what a bit. Do a quick save here. Because as soon as you enter this area, it will lead straight to a boss fight. Someone there. Green and rude. Hey, rude. Who do you like? What do you What do you get embarrassed so embarrassed about? Come on. Who do you like? Tifa. Hmm. That's a tough one. But poor Elena. She. You. No. She likes song. I never knew that. But Song likes that ancient. What are they talking about? It's so stupid. They always talk about who they like and don't like. But Song is different. Ah. Oh no! They're here. They're really here. Hmm. It's time then. Rude. Don't go easy on them. Not even the girls. Don't worry. I'll do my job. Then we'll count on you. I'll report the song. It's been a while. Sorry, it's been a while. Payback time for what you did in Sector 7. Sector 7. That's sad. This is 
so that's, that's as far as it goes. So we're facing Song and facing Reno again, and Song, I mean, Rude for the first time. Now, nothing to really worry about with them, so let's go ham on them until they're defeated. Nothing to really steal from them, and nothing to learn from them. However, Rude does no cure, so be careful of that. But we're still victorious. I didn't really catch all that. But yeah, that was an easy fight. And we got Fairy Tail. We should have got an X potion, but I think that's because we defeated Reno first instead of Rude. I'm not sure what fairy tale it is, but we'll take it. Hey, something seems wrong. Like they knew we were coming. They followed us, but there weren't any signs of it. Then that means there's a shimmer of spy. I don't even I don't even want to think about there being a spy. I trust everyone. Hmm. Okay, so I think we have to follow this path first. Yep, and here leads to a destroyed reactor. And we've got the death blow material. Wait, I think I went the wrong way. Sorry. My bad. So we have to go this path here. Ah, oh, come on. A rhin a tyrannical heavy tank. But still try third times as a swimming tank. God dang it. I don't think I've seen what a force uh, skill is. Okay, so straight to the reactor. But first, I better heal Cloud up. And it's the same thing. Head of Shima's weapon development.
<laughs> this isn't any good either. You only get junky material from junky reactors. This reactor is a failure. What I'm looking for is big, large, huge material. You see any? No, I haven't seen it. I'll get on them right away. Please, we could make the ultimate weapon if we only we had some. I just can't wait. The times are gone, weapon development has been getting a bigger budget. I am you. But, even if we made the perfect weapon, could that stupid Hardin Hardin guy even use it? Oh, hey, so I thought Hardin guy was your boss. <laughs> I'm not doing her life. Let's go. Big, large, huge material. An ultimate weapon. The perfect weapon. Just what a Shinra up to. So Shinra is definitely up to something. Okay, so if we check the spot, there's something shiny back there. If we reach it, we get the Titan material. So much of it being junky, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She wouldn't even know good material if she if it looked her right in the face. Start coming out of these bounds again. Anyway, if we head this way now. And if we go north here, we enter the town. Of Gongaga. A reactor explosion three years ago took my husband. Yeah, we were just there. Grim reactor. Now again, if you want to see some extra scenes, be sure to bring Tifa and or Eris. You're a traveler. Hey, wait. That glow in your eyes. In your eyes, sorry. Are you in soldier? Oh, you're right. Don't you know anything about our son? His name is Zack. It's been close to ten years since he left for the city, saying that he didn't want to live in the country. He was saying he's going to join soldier. You ever heard of Z a Zack and soldier? Hmm. I don't know. Zack, young lady, do you know him? I remember he wrote uh, six or seven years ago saying he had a girlfriend. Could that have been you? That can't... Zack. What happened to you two? Eris? Eris. I was shocked. I didn't know Zack was from this town. You know him? Didn't I tell you? He was my first love. Zack, soldier first class. Same as Cloud. Strange. There aren't that many who make first class, but I never heard of him. That's alright. It's all in the past now. I was just worried because I heard he'd been missing. Missing? It was five years ago. He went out on a job and never came back. He loved women, a real ladies' man. 
he probably found someone else. Hey, what's wrong? Okay. I don't really mind that I haven't heard from him, but I feel for his parents. Let's go, clown. What does Tifa have to say about this? Zack. Do you know him? N no, I don't know him. Your face tells me differently. I told you I don't. Alright. That sounds just like you. Leaving town and saying I'm Jordan Soldier. There were a lot of guys like that back then. You really must be something making it in Soldier out of a group like that. I really respect you. I work really hard, but hard work pays off, huh? Cloud, thanks for caring. So I wonder what Tifa's um how does Tifa know Zach? This Zach. And it appears Eris. You knew Eris because they were in a relationship. Uh, did you need something? Here in the story? People can live without mark without the shinless mark reactors. That they can. Okay, so let's climb up here real quick. You want something? Here's a story. One day, a huge explosion killed many of the townspeople. So we can buy some new weapons here. We'll write it not, sorry. Impaler changes one opponent into a frog or mini monotov. Can't really buy anything else here. But if we go downstairs, we'll see what accessories they sell. Uh, buy accessories. So we've got the headband, silver glasses, pendant. Might as well get a talisman because we lost that. Uh, white cape, fury ring, put you in berserk. Okay, two new materials. So we've got mystify and time. Time basically slows down enemies. Or does it hasten your allies? I don't know. I'm not sure what mystify does, but we'll buy both of them. Okay. Nothing much to really do here. And finally, we've got an inn somewhere here. Can't tell which house it is, but we'll check both of them out anyway. Uh, need something? Shinra built the reactor without even thinking about the town's safety. And this is the result. Yep. Bloody grubbing people. So you can rest here for about 80 gil. You know, room. It's 80 gil a night. So we will rest a bit, because why not? Okay, now if we go to the other house, we get something else for King Sid. Sif, sorry. This is Gongonga Village. Many people died here in an ex marker re reactor explosion. So we got the white microphone. That's for Cave Sid. And other than that, that's pretty much everything in the town. Now we already got the death blow material, and what it does is it deals critical blows and critical attacks deal twice the amount of damage, but only if the attack hits because the death blow, uh, blow command reduces your accuracy by one third. So it's pretty much a gambit. Whoa. Side. Let's take him out quickly. Oh, 
Bye-bye. Alright, so we're back on the world map. No, I didn't want to come back here. Okay, so we can get another enemy skill up ahead. So, sack. Okay, the Tifa has it. We'll trade her. The Levine material. So, this one may take a bit of a long spawn, but the enemy we were looking for is in the forest area here. So we've got some frogs there. Alright, so it's basically those frogs we needed to uh, attack us. Yeah, that's the skill we needed. Get rid of one of them, so... Never mind. So we learned Frog Song. Yeah, frog swamp is to sleep and turns into a frog. That's one frog down. Oh, come on, please. Down and out. Up ahead and cross the river. Now, according to the guide I'm reading, you want to park your buggy far away from town here. So, pretty much at the edge of the uh, canyon here. Otherwise, because if you enter, it will break down. And we want to be able to do the next uh, Fort Pondor battle. More Sahagin? Yeah, Desert Sahagin.
Ay, ay, ay. Ooh. Uh, I'm gonna save it here just in case something does happen to the buggy again. And if it does, I can reload the game. If I remember correctly, I think that was supposed to be some quicksand in the area here, and that will cause it to ruin the buggy. So I need to use ice on these guys. Mm. <laughs> I'm always using that pack and use, and use ice. Okay, so I'm going to be changing party members again. As for who I'm going to put in, well, you'll see shortly, so be back in a bit. Alrighty folks, we are back. And I decided to bring Red and Yuffie back this time. Now, as for why Red, you'll see shortly. And Yuffie, uh, it's felt like I have some more screen time. Anyway, if we go to the e place here that has the observatory on top, this is Cosmo Canyon. I am home. It is I, Nanashi. Hey, Nanashi. Nanashi, Nanaki, you're safe. Come on, say hi to... Say, say hello to... Bungen Hongen. Anarchy. Hmm. Any materia? Any materia around? I think about material all the time, don't you, Yuffie? Welcome to Cosmo Canyon. Are you familiar with this land? No. Let me explain. People from all over the world gathered here to see the study of planet life. Mm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry it's full now, so I can't let you enter. They helped me when I was when I was on the road. Please send them in. Oh, is that so? You help Nanaki? You help out Nanaki? Please come in. Who is Nanaki? Nanaki is Nanaki. That's his name. Alright, so Might as well bring Barrett along for this one. And Red took off with my materia. Well we don't won't, won't need it yet, but if you want to consider dating Barrett later on. Bring him to the party, but I want to see some special interactions with him, so... Yay, Nanaki! Nanaki's back! It's all thanks to this, to this flame. This fire is called Cosmo Fire. Candle. It has burned for generations. This is a holy flame that protects this canyon. I heard it only, had, only went out once, long ago. The elders said something horrifying occurred, but I really don't know much else about it. So this is Cosmo Canyon, what a mysterious place. Have you come to seek the study of planet life? Mm. Yeah, I heard there's an awesome observatory here. I'd like to see see it if I have a chance. Okay. Uh, hold on.
Okay, so we're going up here. Now, if it, again, bear this one of the choices you want to do, and there is a trick I'll be showing later on. Hello, I'm looking for anything in particular. No thanks. Now I know what you're thinking, dating bad? Well, I'm pretty sure there's some girls out there who want to go out with them. <laughs> Welcome, how about our original cocktail, Cosmo Candle? A drink now, and then it's good for you. It will relax you a bit, if you know when to stop. Elna Boone, is that so? You bought Nanaki back here? Yeah, thanks. Really gives you Native American vibes here, doesn't it? Okay, so back in here, if this is the end. Welcome to the Shil Shildra Inn. We haven't girl no. No thanks. Total Paradise 5. Our cocktails are good, but our wine is the best. Please stop in the please stop in the Total Paradise. Okay, so that's uh, number five. And we've got an elixir here. Okay, so never mind up there, so go this way. Up the steps where red went, more mana key. Here's where I was here is where I was. I mean this is my hometown. My tribe will protect this of those who appreciate this beautiful canyon and the planet. My brave mother fought and died here, but my cowardly father left her. I am the last of my race. Cowardly father. Yes. My father was a wastrel. And so the mission I inherited from my ancestors is to protect this place. My journey ends here. Hey, Nanaki, you're home. Come in, Grandpa. Rest, rest, rest. I want to rest. Okay, that's that. Hold on. I don't got this right. Okay, we've got a safe one here. And this should be... Oh, welcome. The people of this canyon hate to compete, so almost everything here is replicas. But that's all right. Some of them, some of them, you really can can use. So we've got the butterfly edge, the target fang, heavy vulcan, prison staff, hidden wheel, green microphone, and the silver arm armlet. So we can buy a lot of stuff here. Okay, so gonna buy everything new. I'm not sure about the green megaphone, but we'll buy it anyway. And oh, I already have one equipped. Well, we might be getting another character later on, so better to get it now. 
Uh, here we are. Total paradise. Total paradise news lesson number four. Now hiring. Looking for someone who can stand long hours of boredom. For details, contact the Turtles Paradise. Alright, save here real quick. I'm really using up all my safe slots. Let's check that back room first. I'm sure there's nothing back here. Ah, so here's actually where you can actually boost your affection with Barrett here. So according to this, you need to talk to him and choose the options go on, followed by yeah, whatever. I'm not gonna do this myself to show it off, but if you want to boost your affection with Barrett by three points, do that and exit and enter again to repeat the process. Where did I put it? I know it was, it's around here. So, sorry Barrett, I'm not going to be doing that with you. A lot of places to choose to go. Morgan Hagen sealed this door shut. How did he do that? With super glue? <laughs> Well, possibly duct tape. Duct tape fixes everything. Oh man, I'm so busy. I need more help. You complain. He's used me. Oh man, this place looks like a real drag. And their material sucks too. Oh, so, you forgot your change. Yes, I'm coming. You hear the shop, right? No, what's your problem? That's it. Then let me sleep. Oh, is that so? You hear the shop? Oh, I'm sorry. I hardly ever get any get any customers. Oh, but I do have confidence in our material. So we got MP plus and HP plus. Jesus, that's pricey. I don't have any. <laughs> I might be able to sell some stuff. Seven fifty. That only sells for one. So Efa sells for a lot more. I hardly use Efa. Uh, the Aoife, so... I'm not gonna be selling that. Oh no, I'm not sure if I'm not selling material. I'll probably have to come back later to get this stuff. Okay, so we need to climb the ladder there, but let's take a look over here first. This leads outside. Nothing out here, so let's go back in. Cloud, this is my grandfather, Bergen. He is incredible. He knows everything. Oh, oh, I heard that you looked after Nanaki. Nanaki is still a child, you see. 
Please stop, Grandfather. I'm 48. Oh, oh, oh. Nanaki's tribe has incredibly has incredible longevity. So you see, he's 48 years, what only be equivalent to say of a 15 or 16 year old in human years reckoning. 15 or 16? He's quite he's quiet and very deep. You thought he was an adult? Grandfather, I want to be an adult. I want to grow up to be able to protect you in the village. Oh, oh, oh no, Nodaki. You can't stand on your own yet. To do that now will destroy you in the long run. Reached up into the heavens, threatening to snatch the very stars from the great city of Midgard. You've seen it, haven't you? Well, that's a bad example. Looking up too much makes you lose pers perspective. When, it when, when it's time for the planet to die, you'll understand that you know absolutely nothing. When the planet dies, oh, oh, oh. Maybe, maybe tomorrow or 100 years from now, but it's not long off. How do you know this? I hear the cries to plan. Whoa. What's that? The sound of the stars in the heavens. When this, while this goes on, planets are born and die. That's really creepy. What was that? Oh, oh, oh. That was a scream from the planet. Didn't you hear it? As if to say, I heard, I suffer. They've come here on a journey to save the planet. Why don't you show them your apparatus? Oh, 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 to save the planet? Oh, oh, oh. But then again, I guess it would have hurt to show him. Bergen Hagen. Several odd looking people are here. The whole place has gotten busy all of a sudden. He's brought friends too. I'll go get him. Well, Cloud, well, please call one of them. Only three people can fit in Grandpa's machine. Yeah, I'm not sure where I'm going here. I think I may miss them up back upstairs. Now that's the material. What did they say? Alright, so we're going to bring one more person in. I say we bring Eris along. Being that she's an ain't being the agent, I want to see... We can bring one more, so... I think Barry will get a kick out of this. Alright, let's head back upstairs and hear what he has to say.
here, over here. The door's unlocked. Come here. Come in. Oh, oh, oh. Looks like you have them all together. Then let's begin. I'll stand there. Whoa. So pretty. It's just like the real thing. Hmm, yeah, it's pretty good. This is my lab laboratory. All the workings of space are entered into this 3D holographic system. Hey, a shooting star! Yes, it is something, isn't it? Well, let's get to the subject. Eventually, all humans die. What happens to them after they die? Their body decomposes and returns to the planet. That much everyone knows. What about their consciousness, their hearts and souls? Their soul, the soul too, returns to the planet. And not only those of humans, but everything on this planet, in fact, all living things in the universe are the same. The spirits that return to the planet merge with one another and roam the planet. They roam, converge, and divide, becoming a swell called the life stream. Life stream, in other words, a path of energy of souls roaming the planet. Spiritual energy is a word that you should never forget. A new life, children are blessed with spiritual energy and are brought into the world. Then the time comes when they die and once again return to the planet. Of course there are exceptions, but this is the way of the world. I've digressed, I've digressed, but you'll understand better if you watch this. People die, even the plants themselves, they return to the planet. And are one day reborn. Sort of like the theory that we have called the circle of life. Spiritual energy is the source of life for trees, birds, and humans. And not only living things, it makes it possible to form planets. And if that spiritual energy were to disappear... The planet dies. These are the basics of the study of planet life. Spiritual energy disappears, our planet will die. Oh, 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 spiritual energy is affected because it exists within nature. When spiritual energy is forcefully extracted and manufactured, it can't accomplish its true purpose. You're talking about macro energy, right? Everyday macro react 
everyday mafia reactors suck up spiritual energy, diminishing it. Spiritual energy is compressed in reactors and processed into mafia energy. All living things are being used up and thrown away. In other words, Marco energy will only destroy the planet. So yeah, Barrett did have a point. The story of planets and those who live with them. If you want to know more, then you must listen to the words of the elders. Alright, so I'm going to call it an episode here, people. We learned quite a bit of lore, and I'm sorry nothing else more exciting happened, but I think learning more about how, the, the sw how this universe works is definitely worth it. And we did get a talking material in the process, so that is good. So anyway, that's going to be it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, please remember to hit that like button. Also, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and show support for the channel. I'd very much appreciate that. With that being said, I'm going to head off. And in all that what you heard there. Anyway, thank you all again, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves, and drive safely out there, people. Bye-bye, take care, and have a good time. Right, sorry.